What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today, we are going to be talking about something that might seem like it's a little controversial uh, to some of the people out there that are watching. Now this is a topic that has been brought up so many times whenever I do a Q&A on my Instagram, one of the questions that I get is, would you ever date someone that is currently overweight or obese? Now I will be completely honest, for a good amount of time, I would just avoid that question because I felt like the answer that I would give would make people upset, and that's obviously not what I try and do when I, when I do the Q&As. But then it kind of just came to a time where I felt like not answering I don't know, I just felt bad not answering the question, so eventually I did answer the question, and when when I did answer the question, I got quite a few uh, DMs, some positive, some negative, about my response. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Is it okay to not be attracted to someone, you know, after you've lost a lot of weight that might be overweight or obese? So to answer the question just right off the bat, Personally, for me, I am not attracted to uh, women that are very, very large or very overweight. Now, I will say that I've always felt this way. Like even when I was when I was really large myself, I was not attracted to girls that were also really large. That was part of the reason I think why I never actually had a girlfriend up until I lost the weight was because any of the people that might have been interested in me, I wasn't interested in myself. And so I remember thinking, you know, when I was bigger, like, is it wrong for me to not like these girls that, like I almost felt like I had to settle, right? And I just, I don't know, for me, I never felt like I wanted to do that, so I never did. But I always almost felt like eventually I'm going to have to, right, when I was, when I was really heavy because I felt like the girls that I was interested in there was no way I was going to to be able to get them. And now I, I will say that I was actually I was actually kind of upset. Like I felt very mad and I felt very hurt that girls didn't like me and in my head it was just because I was big. Um, and that's that's kind of what I would do. I would I would put just me being big as the only thing that is the issue, right? I never really thought about the other things that kind of led up to me being big or the, you know, the ramifications of me being big and the things, the limitations that I had being as large as I was. I just thought in my head, the, these girls don't like me because I have this fat on me. Now, looking back, I realized that that's just not the case. I mean, I'm sure a lot of girls did not like me because I was overweight, and I honestly think that's okay. Um, another question that I get a lot is, do you find it, does it upset you that girls maybe find you attractive now after you've lost the weight when maybe they didn't before? And I, I, I've never really understood that question because I don't, I don't like hold a grudge. Like if a girl didn't think, I mean, this has never happened to me, but say a girl that I liked when I was obese, just wasn't interested in me and then all of a sudden slid into my DMs after I had lost weight. Like I, that wouldn't upset me because I I don't, I don't know. Like I, I wouldn't be upset about that. I don't hold any grudges for, I mean, you know, like a girl not finding me attractive when I was overweight. But being able to look at this, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I realized that it's not just because someone is overweight that someone might not like someone that is bigger. I think a lot of it, and a lot of it might just be subconsciously, you don't even notice this, but someone that is really, really large, there's obviously some issues there. There's some really bad habits that aren't just that aren't just gonna match up with someone that doesn't have those habits. So like for me, if I were to talk to a girl, like I would, I would wanna talk to a girl that really enjoys going to the gym and has that in common with me because it would be such a huge deal trying to explain to someone why I like working out so much and they wouldn't get it and it would become this huge thing when instead I could just date someone that already understands that and we have that in common like that's a huge part of my life right that's like a, a gigantic part of my life so to date someone that obviously doesn't share that and then you know going a step further if they're morbidly obese they're probably you know not eating the healthiest food, they're probably not taking care of their bodies. Again, I understand people can be on a journey. I get that, right? But like, if I'm just dating someone that has no regard for fitness, doesn't care about eating healthy, I think that's putting myself in danger for no reason, right? That would be me dating someone that obviously has these issues that I have gotten over, but I don't wanna slip back into that. Now, I remember when I answered this question a couple weeks ago on my Instagram story, I actually had someone reply to me. I wish I would have saved the story, uh, but they replied to me and they said, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just, it hurts hearing this coming from someone that's been there, right? And 
I can understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, like just because someone has lost weight and it's, you know, not just me, but just because someone's lost weight, that doesn't mean that they were attracted to something when they were obese and then now it's changed because now they're a different person. Like, like I said, and like what a lot of the replies have been, have been, I was never attracted to people that were really large and now I'm still not attracted to people that are really large. So I think a big part of it is people assume that you just make have this huge change and now you're some jerk, right? Because now you're all, you're all different and think you can get anyone that you want. Now, obviously a huge part of this is just being attracted to people, right? Like everyone has their own preferences. Some people like blondes, some people like brunettes, some people like blue hair, some people like tall, some people like short, like everyone has their preferences. So that's a huge part of it. But I think especially someone that is in my position that used to be obese, that is no longer obese, you understand the lifestyle choices and the lifestyle changes that I've made. And so I know that I don't want to be with someone that hasn't made those changes or are making those choices because it would just, it's just not gonna work. So there's no reason to even try and start a relationship. And I definitely don't wanna try and start a relationship within my head thinking, I'm going to help this person lose weight and I'm gonna change their life. Like that is not a healthy way to start a relationship in my opinion. So I actually asked this question on my story and I cannot believe how many people responded to this. This is literally the most people that have ever responded to a story that I've put on my Instagram. So what I put up was, okay, question, is it wrong for someone who has lost weight to not be attracted to someone of the opposite sex or same sex partially because of their weight? Reply to this story with your thoughts. I'll be talking about this in a video and love to hear some different opinions. Now, I was actually really surprised pretty much almost all of the responses and it's actually been hard for me to find a response with people that were disagreeing with me and I'm sure a lot of that's be with the way that I worded it so I don't want it to seem like no one was disagreeing with me but I think with the way that I worded it a lot of people kind of understood where I was coming from uh, but I wanted to read some of the responses to you guys. It is not wrong at all. People have their types that they are attracted to. Even when I was larger, I was not attracted to larger women. Did I stop and think about it a lot? Yes. Is it fair for me not to like them? I'm big too. The fact of the matter is we are attracted to what we are attracted to. I can say also that since I lost a bunch of weight, I look at women that are larger and trying to get healthy in a completely different lens. I find it very attractive when a woman is trying consistently to better themselves. Now, I really like that response because he does bring up, you know, looking at someone that is working on themselves. And again, it, it brings into, it's not just about how someone looks. You see their habits, you see how they are going throughout their life. You see if, if they're doing things that you would also do. And I think that that's part of what makes you attracted to someone, right? Like if someone's completely doing everything opposite of what you would do, it's hard to be like, yeah, I, I really want to start maybe dating that person. Well, I am overweight, still on my weight loss journey and investing a lot of time in my CrossFit and gym time, also eating well, cooking for myself, etc. Takes more time than just unhealthy take takeouts. I feel attracted to guys up to like dad bods, I'd say. After that, I feel like a guy is probably at where I just came from, metaphorically speaking. That's a great point. And I don't want to go back and I also know what it means to be in that place. So I think not being attracted to someone unhealthy is not bad at all. A bit overweight is okay, of course, uh, but when you first notice his stigma and then him as a person, that is not a good base for a healthy relationship, I think. Yeah, I think if, especially if you're someone that has just lost weight or you are currently losing weight, it's definitely a bad idea to get into a relationship with someone that obviously isn't trying to lose weight. Um, that's one of the things that I've noticed with a lot of people that are trying to lose weight. Like if your partner isn't either very supportive or doing it with you, it puts such a huge strain on relationships. And there's that, that crazy stat of the amount of people that get weight loss surgery and end up in a divorce because maybe the person that, that, that was with them, right? A lot of times if you're getting weight loss surgery, you're, you're obviously probably very, very, very overweight. And so the person that is with you, if you are married, is probably enabling you and letting you do that. So once you start losing the weight, it really can be a detriment on the relationship. So I think it is very important to, to understand that it's not just about, oh, ill, you're gross. I think you're ugly. It's like, this is a very important part in my life right now and I need to make sure that I'm focusing on myself. And if I am gonna be with someone, I need them to be 100% in it with me as well. 
Next one. No, we can't control who we are attracted to. Certain features, certain personalities, certain traits. These are all play a role in who we find attractive. You can't force yourself to find someone attractive no matter how hard you try. It doesn't mean you don't like them as a person. It just means that you don't want to date them. That's just life. Yeah, and I think that's a huge, huge thing, right? Like, we can't control who we're attracted to. And, like, you know, I might... I might have felt bad when I was overweight, like not being attracted to overweight women. But for me to try and force that and maybe try and start dating a girl that I didn't find attractive, I don't think that's fair to her. And I also don't think that's fair to me. And the last one, I don't think so. If you felt it's important to have changed your diet and lifestyle, I think it's reasonable to expect your partner to have shared values. But you should have reasonable expectations for them, i.e. not being incredibly skinny, a crazy obsessed gym and nutrition nut, etc. Yeah, and I think that that's also a really important thing. Like, I think for me, go, someone that at least is going to the gym and finds that important in their life is important to me because I understand if they don't understand that, it's going to be a big roadblock in my relationship, so I don't see why I would even try and and start that relationship, right? If I'm if I'm constantly having to explain why I'm going to the gym, constantly trying to explain why I find it important that I work out or why I enjoy being here, like that would just be an unnecessary strain that I don't think is is worth it. But again, it's not like I'm I'm saying I need to date someone that has like a perfect body and is the the best thing in the world. Like that's not what I'm saying at all. There are obviously like a billion more responses, but I don't want this video to be 3,000 years long. <laughs> so I'm gonna cap it right there. I am really interested to hear what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.